hope you aren't expecting me to review any more Disney Star Wars shows or movies. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am Clifton 3D, and I finished the last episode, the finale of Hashtag Duck Fizney's Star Wars Ahsoka. I really wonder how long people will be talking about this show. One, two, tops four days, right? <laughs> right now, all the shills will be out defending the show tooth and nail. But for how long can they keep it up? Last episode, I really didn't think the show could get much worse. Surely, they will give us some awesome send-off so that the show at least feels like something happened. That it is more than just a mediocre show. But the complete opposite occurred. Ahsoka went from mid to an absolute shit show. And I keep asking myself, how can anyone defend this thing anymore? How can there actually be any fans left? And then I see Star Wars Theory on Twitter hailing Praising the show as the greatest thing he has seen. Stop it. Get some help. Right. If you like this episode or you think the show was at the very least good, I don't understand it. Are you comparing it to itself? To everything we have gotten since the rise of Skywalker? Are you looking at it as a whole, comparing it to all of Star Wars, like the OT? Or maybe you compare it like me. I look at everything I've seen that I can conjure up in my mind and compare it to that. And maybe that is my problem. Maybe that is why I think this show is worse than Dog White. Dog White in a paper bag lit on freaking fire! I apologize. If you liked the show and think the finale was good, good for you. I'm glad you can find enjoyment in a show like this. Personally, I am just tired of the same old agenda-driven nonsense in every single show and movie that comes out. And if you are lofty, or you're like lofty, and you're worried about the somatics, no, not every show or movie. One Piece was cool. There's a lot of anime that I am enjoying, and going back I even enjoyed the first Castlevania Netflix adaptation with Trevor Belmont. But it seems like every time I turn around and want to watch something new, 90% of the time I will get woke agenda driven trash. My plan was to come and review the finale, thinking it couldn't possibly get worse than the last episode. To watch it and question myself if I even see this show through on my reviews. After that, I thought I would give it a nice full review like I did with Castlevania Nocturne. I have no energy to do any of that. This shows you that my opinion of Castlevania Nocturne isn't as bad as this horrible piece of total garbage. If you truly want a full review of this episode, you want it to be entertaining, then go and watch The Lion and the Witch in the Wardrobe. After that, go and watch The Lord of the Rings Trilogy. It will be much more entertaining, you will enjoy yourself, and you will have a firm grasp of what is actually going on, unlike the Ahsoka finale. If you have not watched The Clone Wars, if you have not seen Rebels, you will in fact not know what is going on in this show. And even if you had, you might still not be sure. Just ask five people who have seen it all and claim to know what is going on in this show. You will get five different answers. Even after the great episode where we finally got Hayden Christensen back, again, I was tired of needing to fill in the entire story myself, needing to do headcanon. 
to even attempt to make sense of it all. You have horrible writing combined with bad directing and wanting to play politics and ultimately falling short of anything comprehensible. So many cringe moments in this last episode alone that I had to pause it, walk away, scream into a pillow, go for a run outside before coming back and forcing torture upon myself. I was searching for the leather whip to do penance and strike my back every time I let out a sigh. I was seeking chain belts for my arms and legs, the wool shirt, and any other self-flagellation device I could conjure up. At this point, I'm sure you are all waiting for my review of the show. Spoilers! Women so awesome! Ezra rides bitch! Sabine is indeed a force user. Ezra and Thrawn trade places with Sabine and Ahsoka. Thrawn lost but claims a win. Anakin Force Ghost shows up to Ahsoka and Sabine while his son's Jedi Temple is burning because all hope is lost for Jake Skywalker. Star Wars is saved, people. It is saved. Oh, yeah. The title is The Jedi, The Witch, and The Warlord. You get shots of landscape that feel like it is trying hard to be Lord of the Rings. And of course, you get large stone statues of the Mortis family, which if you haven't seen the Clone Wars, you know nothing about. But they look like the large stone statues on the Fellowship of the Ring. You're welcome. I saved you from a long, dull, boring, and torturous experience watching this show. That's all for today. Now leave me alone.